Just like you're straight cooking my fuck off. So for the past two years, I've pretty much been living out of my suitcase. Basically just trying to explore and travel as much as I can. Living on couches, sleeping out of my car. And it's been super fun, but uh, also kind of tiring because I don't actually have a bed really to go back to. So I actually just moved into apartment with my friends Ashley, Kelly, Isa, and Jed. When we first toured this house, this one really stood out to us because one, it had a super nice kitchen. It had a backyard. Bathrooms were super nice. The room's really nice. And then we opened this door and it leads down to the basement. Holy crap. Coming from California, there's not really basements. Every time I see a basement, it's like, whoa, that's kind of cool. So we came down here and I thought it was such a cool space. I was like, I would love to live down here. This is what sold me the most. I think this is the coolest room. I don't think anyone else in the group thought it was cool. Of course, Luke is living here. I'm so dead. So first of all, there's no bathroom. You have to go to the second floor to go to the bathroom. You honestly never know what time of day it is. So we ended up getting this apartment and I took the dungeon, as everyone calls it. The dungeon. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would have a bucket or something, a portable potty in the back to go pee for real. That's all you need. And then when you gotta go number two, you go upstairs. That's Into it. the basement. Isn't this so weird? Uh, no, like, this is when I get it, it is kind of like dark and dungeon-y vibe. Hey, I fuck here. with but it. But I think it's such a cool and interesting that's, I ain't gonna lie, that'd be my room. There's a lot of potential to make it a man cave or something that's like, whoa, that's kind of a cool room. Still living out of my suitcase for the first month, I did not have a dresser, so it was super, super dirty in here. Very dungeon vibe. The ground is dirty and kind of cold, but I was not gonna give up there. So over the past month, I slowly decorated this room to the best of my capabilities. A lot of Home Depot runs, a lot of Amazon purchases, it's a place that I call my room and that I'm excited to be in and show people. So without further ado, the room. What do you think I want extra? I think you just bought the unessentials first. Mm. You just got a dresser last week. That's Damn. Like, literally everything Luke wanted to buy, he'll be like, should I, buy uh, or should I make it? Okay. Can I just chop down the tree? Well, anyways, now I ain't gonna lie, if you can buy it or make it, why not, why not make it? You feel me? Why spend money? <laughs> That's actually good. Alright, so we got the grass room. Is it weird? Is it not? This is a tradition I'm starting. You lightly tap. If you tap too hard, it'll fall off. Just lightly tap the crates on your Yeah. Alright, we have to put a beware of dog because. Jen, 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 don't come here! What's this phone up here? <laughs> I don't know. Last day. <laughs> it's just purple. If you guys can't tell on camera, for some reason they painted it purple. I'm not sure why, but it works. Every day I realize there's like little stuff, like little staples, little holes. Look at that. What is that? Guess how much the dresser was. How much would you pay for this? $300. I would have paid $350. He said $300 for this. I got it for $100. Yeah, nice blue. We yeah, a that's a steal. Plant, I can't a fake plant. plant. All right. Down here because there's no sunlight. Also, you Understandable. Can never tell what time of day it is. So like right now, I have no idea. Is it light outside? Is it dark outside? It's a casino. All right here, we got my to-do list. Get that money. Yeah. So wasted that's all, all you need to know is get that motherfucking money, stupid, baby. FBGM. Fuck bitches, get money, baby. They make fun of me, guys. I say everything weird. I have an accent. Guys, I never read. I went on Spark Notes. This is why you stay in school and read your books. You anyway, said Spark class. This is the carpet. Or there was brown, hard, gross concrete. It was a total of like 250 to $300 just for the turf. A lot of work because this dungeon is not straight. Every little line is like curved and just weird. It just laid down the turf in this area. It's looking pretty cool. Like this I cut out. I'm very impressed. I did this by myself. Worth the seam. Do you guys know where the seam is? Not bad. Not bad. Jed said I don't want this, so he gave it to me. Nice. Well, can't seem to find it. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> what? Thank you, Ashley, for uh, gifting me this hammock. Yeah, that's tough hammock. I've had this, like, all through high school. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm going to sell this if you want to buy Ashley's high school hammock. This just came in the mail. We'll take you over here. That's a cool-ass light. I ain't going to lie. Oh, I'm a he said, oh, y'all. Another gift from Ashley. <laughs> it's perfect. I contacted our landlord. They're like, that's the airflow. You will not be able to breathe if you cover it. So I did my best to try to cover it without covering it. No demon can get through that. They probably could. When we first moved in here, not going to lie, I was scared for about a week or two. I'd sleep with these lights on because we're in the dungeon. And I would hear noises. And then I started to get over it. And then Kelly pranked me one morning. <laughs> And you can't talk about the ghost because that's how it gets scary. But also, yeah. shout out to Art for making this beautiful piece that I stole that wasn't even mine. <laughs> Moving on to the other room. Mm. 
No pressure. Is that his bargain? brand? How much would you buy? 20? You're cheapo. Oh, brand new. I'd buy that for. No pressure. I'm about to look that what? up. What? Jay, $100 for that? I bought it for 250 no chance. Wait, what? No, I got $30. Okay, I'm like, what? It's another gift from, guess who? That's Ashley. Oh, that's Ashley that's gave it to me. To oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also did the turf, which was so nope. annoying because these ledges, Can't wait, find so you think you could just cut out a piece? Nope, they literally just <clears throat> warp. Like, this side is like 15 inches, that's like five. So it's just like these little things that I mess up and I go, shoots, gotta go back to Home Depot, get more turf. That's way bigger than five inches. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love in this video. That almost made me cry. Okay, over here we got this big bean bag. <laughs> big bean bag. I feel like this would be an expensive bean bag. But I paid thirty-five dollars. It was also a mission getting here because it's literally really hard to pick up. Jed, try to lift it. I mean, you could lift it. Oh my it. god, that's so funny. You don't have tiles under that. Don't expose me. I didn't have enough room. Also, guess how much the carpet was off Amazon. I'll probably get two dollars. I think it was 225 and I ordered red, pink, and white, which was bold for me. Okay, I finished the rug. I'm not really sure about it because uh, the colors are crazy. I don't know if this is a waste of money. It's not even like crazy comfortable to sit on. <laughs> Behind our desk, we have another Wakasi piece. Man, he's got to be top leg for blessing. I'm not going to lie, that bitch uh, looks uh, tough as hell. Brother's brand or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> then we got this cool cloth that I also ordered off Amazon, maybe $25. And then another thing, I just feel like I'd make everything hard. I was like, I want wood shelves, which actually turned out pretty cool. But I got these from Michael's for like 20 bucks. And then I screwed them on very sketchily. And there's a lot of holes and stuff in the wall, but I think it's okay. See, what well, you guys now want to come down more? Okay, I'll show you guys this. <laughs> it's honestly scary. Look, it's a fake wall. This is where I hear noises at night. I saw this at a golf wing store, and I was like, I really want to create a wooden coat hanger. So after like two weeks, I finally built it. It's just a $15 log from Michael's. I screwed in like things. Oh, this is actually cool. And then screwed it into the wall. And now it's like a display of all the merch. But if you look at that one, it's low-key falling off. The no pressure wall. No pressure, baby. We are releasing round two of No Pressure, the new drop that is officially live right now. 72 hours. Once it's gone, then it's gone. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? What are you doing? Nothing. You want to come down and hang out in the basement? I just read in my room. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of stressed out. I go to the gym every day, and I'm not getting weight. Yeah, well, I got a present for you. Call me when you stop stressing. If you wanted to come check out my room, <laughs> setting it up. <laughs> I'm not going down there. So, oh, yo. You okay? Money's low. Money's, money's low. Speaking of money, I was curious. I just finished my room. You want to come check out my room? Your boy's stressed. Honestly, I'm not even feeling up for it. Hold on. You just stay right there. Here you go. Call me when you stop stressing. <laughs> Yo, is this like a promo for his merch? I was curious if you wanted to come check out my new room. I just finished. You just finished your new room? A lot of clothes to put away. I'd rather distress. Yeah, I got you a present too. <gasps> a present? Hey, let's go. Oh, thanks, Luke. Call me when you stop stressing. I like that. Oh. in this house is so stressed. You know, I wonder if they're actually stressed or they're just making that excuse so they don't have to come to the dungeon. Boom, boom, dun, dun, dun. We're done stressing. Hey, yo. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely fuck with it. That was a cool ass room, but I did not think that this was the type of video that it was. But hey, that bitch was a buying up. Make me fuck with it. Hey. Oh, Six nations straight, cooked him off.